G'day guys, Bryce Edwards here. So in previous videos, we looked at the Spark Platform's functionality, and I've also given you a bit of a demo uh, of a few different features. Uh, now it's time to get into a, a few more exciting things. So we're going to have a look at a, a couple of trade setups. And the first one that I've got for you is a really well-known order book setup or a, a market depth setup known as trading the break of a wall, uh, also known as a line wipe. So this is, um, you can trade this in, in so many different markets, futures, stocks, um, anything with an order book. Uh, and what I mean by a wall is when you're looking at the market depth or the order book, um, you'll see sometimes a much larger volume of stock either bid or offered at one particular price point. So we're looking uh, on the left hand side here, we're looking at ACR, ACRUX. This is a biotech stock on the, on the ASX. Um, we can see here there's giant lines, right? And in particular, this one here at 85. Um, and the idea behind this particular uh, trade setup is you wait till the stock approaches the wall, maybe even has a little bit of a nibble on the wall, and then you buy it to enter. And when that wall wipes, uh, it's a sign to the market of conviction, right? You can trade it on the long side. You're looking at buying into a, a, a sell wall. Uh, it's about to go now. And uh, you can also, also trade it on the short side where you'd be actually selling into a bid wall like this. Right, so that's one particular uh, um, example. I'll show you another one. I've got a, a few different ones lined up. Uh, on the right hand side, this is PPS. This is a, a small uh, fintech stock listed on the ASX. This is one that I traded on Friday. Um, we'll play it through. Um, here's the wall here at 36. In the order book, you can potentially look for signs that the, the wall might break. So you're getting a bit of a nibble there. You see a big uh, buyer going behind it. More nibbles. Um, I took a starter position and I didn't even get a chance to add here at 36. Um, so it runs on to close at about 38. Um, so you can either you know look to enter as a, a long-term trade or potentially even scalp out once uh, the momentum goes and the wall's broken. All right, so that's one uh, other example. I've got a couple uh, more here. Um, so AZK. Um, this is a, a small specky that's run quite a bit. We can see a big wall here at, at six cents. Uh, oftentimes, you'll find that the best setups uh, trade around round numbers. So you'll see, you know, large lines of stock offered um, here at six cents. Um, we'll play this one through, uh, and you'll see that um, the six cent line wipes, and it goes on a, a bit of a run. And there's a flurry of interest after the line goes. So you get the general um, idea. Another one over here on the right hand side is uh, Regis Healthcare. This is a hospital stock that's done uh, quite quite well lately. Um, you can see the larger line here at six and I'll just play that through. A bit fast maybe. And then it goes on a little bit of a run after they chase it at six. So you had plenty of time to, to get set in that particular position. Uh, and then it runs shortly afterwards. So that's that's the general idea. Um, now, what we're going to do is, um, yeah, you, you'll see these walls in the order book quite frequently. What I'm going to do is give you a, a fair few hard rules to make your trade selection process a lot easier. Uh, and also, if you stick to these rules, from my experience, the win rate is quite high. So here's my list of a few rules that should make your trade selection process uh, a little easier, and I'll run through them one by one. Right, so first uh, is really just about momentum. Right, so when you're getting long, you want to be buying into a sell wall when the stock is trading at its highs. Right, vice versa, when you're short selling, you want to be selling into a bid wall when the stock is trading at its lows. Right, that's really firstly just about momentum, uh, but secondly, uh, to assist you in scanning for stocks whereby you know this this setup uh, is in play, you can actually set up a Spark Smart List to scan for stocks trading at their highs or their lows. Um, so that's number one. Number two, uh, also about momentum, and uh, it doesn't just apply to this particular setup. This is something that I trade with with a lot of setups. Uh, and that is you, you want to be trading in the direction of the broader market. 
Um, if the market's going up, it's really strong. You obviously want to be looking um, to buy uh, and vice versa when the market's selling off. Um, there's an old adage that says when the market's going up, 80% of stocks rise. When the market's falling, 80% of stocks fall. So it really just puts the odds in your favor. Um, uh, another one that's going to stack the odds heavily in your favor is to overlay technical analysis with the order book, right? So um, you want to be buying uh, into a sell wall uh, at a stock's resistance, and often you'll find that uh, if a stock's come up and touched a particular price, uh, particularly around round numbers, um, that resistance, uh, you also see um, big walls at that resistance. Same goes for support. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, traders come in and bid um, at a particular level where there's been support previously. Um, so that makes this particular setup quite powerful. Uh, and in a couple of the examples I've already showed you, PPS, for example, uh, PPS, that $36 wall, that was all-time highs. Right, so really, really powerful if you can overlay your technical analysis with support and resistance. And I think uh, the other one, that $6 in Regis, REG, that was also breaking out to all-time highs. Um, and then the last one is really just a word of caution. Um, and this goes for you know any intraday trading. Uh, intraday traders you know, do not want to chase stocks. Right, so you should always be using a one minute chart um, to ensure you're not chasing a stock. Um, so you're using the one minute chart together with the depth window uh, and with this particular trade setup. Um, if a stock, let's say for example, REG, for example, that $6 wall, if a stock's been trading around you know, $5.90, $5.95 and quickly rips up to $6, um, you don't want to be hitting that wall then. Ideally, in a perfect scenario, you want the stock to consolidate under that wall. You want to see bids start to build under that wall before you hit the wall and enter. Right, So you don't want to be chasing stocks. Um, so that's basically it. That is uh, four simple rules uh, that should really improve your win rate on this particular setup. Uh, as always, the more you trade it, uh, the more that you make it your own, the more you tweak it. Um, you know, the more ownership you take of the stock and the more it's going to work for you. So hopefully that is one more setup that you can add to your trading arsenal. And uh, that is about it for this video. So uh, good luck in the markets and I'll see you next time.